friends and welcome back or welcome to Vintage Porch Shack and welcome back to a special Easter episode. Today we're going to show you some pickups from Plymouth yesterday, uh, go over a few things, uh, but as always stand up, stretch out, because away we go. Alright guys, yesterday I was in Plymouth at the card show, went as a bar, did some filming. Uh, my memory card has been acting up, so I went and got a new memory card. I'm just going to go over the pickups with you, kind of uh, go over the show, what it's about, why they do it, and uh, just wrap, you know, trying to wrap things up a little bit quick and just go over some things. But first, the contest, the March contest, the number was 171. If you guessed 171 for the March contest, the closest, someone contacted me, uh, they picked 149, so far they're winning. Grading tools, 1 to 50. If you pick 36, closest to 36, contact me. Um, down below, contact me, and then I'll have you get a hold of me on Instagram. But uh, to the topic today, first off, Happy Easter to everybody. If you're watching... Enjoy your family. Have a great day. Um, but I wanted to talk about the Plymouth show. I met the gentleman down there. I came down there. I told him I was going to buy a table, but I decided to come as a buyer. And he said he was happy to have me down there, that uh, they had watched me, a couple other few people. Actually, I ran in probably 10 or 15 people. So thank you very much, guys, for saying hi. And uh, But he said his friend had watched me, and... He was happy to have me there, even if I wasn't going to buy a table and uh, promoting his show. So he told me all about his show. Down there in Plymouth, most of these shows, the proceeds goes to the promoter. We all know that. Down there in Plymouth, it goes to the Little League. They have changed the venues into the sports complex. And the sports complex makes the money off all the uh, concessions. They have a real nice concession stand there. Uh, you can eat, spend half the day there, enjoy yourself, and uh, all the proceeds, table fees, go to the Little League. So it was only a 40 table show, but it looks like they're trying to grow. So if you're ever uh, in the area of Plymouth, I'm going to try to help support them, try to go there. They can do it like four times a year. The next one is May 18th. So if you can get down into Plymouth, uh, it's a it's a pretty cool show. Messed me up a little bit. They're on Central Time. That's something I forgot. So I got over there and I was a little bit early, but that was fine. So I walked around, did some buying. I did about twelve hundred dollars, twelve fifty in sales and trades. Uh, walked out with about a thousand in cash. Got rid of everything. Absolutely everything sold. A couple of them uh, I did. I broke even probably, but made some money. But I walked out with some cards to get graded, and I wanted to show you guys what I did pick up. Like I said, it was only a 40-table show. It was probably 25 dealers. But I picked up this rambling man, Marvin Harrison Jr., numbered out of 150. It's pretty cool. Uh, Julio Rodriguez, X-Fractor, Stadium Club. 2022 got a Ronald Acuna Jr. home field advantage a Justin Herbert green mosaic NFL debut uh, Josh Allen rated rookie and Evan Carter rookie tops yellow 2024. This Triumvirates. I don't know why I like these Stadium Club die cuts. I don't ever send them off to get graded. I always say I will, but I never do. And then a Trevor Lawrence. Rated rookie purple shot. Now, like I said, I lost all that film, all the footage from Plymouth, and it, it kind of sucked. But uh, I was talking to Tyler. I got one more card here I picked up. And I was just telling him the story about why I picked up this card and uh, 
That's why I'm doing this video today. He was like, you got to tell that story. Now to me, it's just something, you know, part of my job, something I do. It's not that big a deal to me, but, you know, I hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, when I first started doing appraisals back in the early 2000s, uh, you had to get in line. So I had to do the grunge work. I had to do uh, foreclosures, uh, deed transfers, um, wills, things of that nature. So, uh, I, you know, I had to build up. But I am a certified residential appraiser, which means if the house is over a million dollars, they have to send out someone like me. There's trainee, there's licensed, there's certified, and then there's certified general. Certified general does commercial. Paul don't want to do commercial. So Paul stopped at the certified. Uh, but uh, not a lot of million dollar houses rolling around here where I live. But when there are, they have to send uh, someone like me out. And there's not, not well, especially back in 2005, there wasn't a lot of us, 2007. And uh, I went and did an appraisal at a house, really nice, in Bristol, Indiana. Uh, I think it was Bristol Estates or Bristol Frontier. I can't remember. But beautiful house. Walk around. We always do the outside inspection. I'm walking around. Huge basketball court in the back, and I'm thinking, man, this is great. At the time, I had, you know, 10, 12-year-old, we played basketball, and get up to the house, knock on the door, little old lady. And I'm like, wow, this is a great house. She's like, yeah, it was given to her. And I'm like, given to you? We're walking through the house, and I'm doing inspection. We're talking, and it's not right at the door. And then we're talking, and she's telling me, yeah, I heard... Uh, grandson who she basically raised was really good at basketball made a little money and he had uh bought her a house gave it to her she had raised him and it starts clicking in my mind where i was and the story was kind of clicking and i asked her i said uh you mind telling me who your grandson is and she said yeah Name Sean Kemp, as you would know him. I'm like, well, I do know Sean Kemp. So, in Plymouth, picked up a Sean Kemp auto from 2223 Donruss, numbered out of 99. That's why I picked it up. It's numbered. If it would have just been the autograph, maybe not. But, uh, gonna send that off to Grady. And I thought that was neat. And Tyler thought, Tyler, if everybody hates the story, it's your fault. He thought you guys would think that's cool. But uh, something that I picked up that kind of just hit me, you know, it's kind of neat. No one, uh, I've never met Sean Kemp, but I have met his grandma. I talked to her for like an hour and hung out at his house, and which is now her house. And so it was really neat to get that card, I guess is what I'm saying. But uh, wrapping it up. If you're, if you're in Plymouth, in that area on May 18th, get down there. If you can purchase a table, let's grow the show. Like I said, it, it's important. No one gets the money. It goes to the Little League. The building doesn't take any rent fee. They don't charge any entrance fee. They don't charge any parking fee. Everything's free. All the proceeds go to the Little League. So if you can get down in that area or if you are in that area, May 18th, uh, stop in. Check them out. If you can set up, contact. I will get the information as we get closer uh, to May 18th in the next couple of weeks for table information. But as always, guys, happy Easter. Hello, Smash like button. Comment down. Uh, subscribe if you have it. Comment down below. Tell me what you think you can pick up. Happy Easter again if I haven't said it. But as always, peace. Have a super great day. And why did you come here? That's right.
sell out in the stores. You tell me who flop, who cop the blue drop, who jewels got rocks, who's mostly dope, she down to the two top. The same old pimp, bass, you know ain't nothing changed but my limp. Can't stop till I see my name on the blimp. Guarantee me yourself, call it love or luck. Can't no PD niggas hold me down, cooler. Scoot me to the game.